Free Pin Plug by kscience.com. What I'm drawing here represents the insides of a free pin plug. This is the plastic casing on the insides. This represents the free core cable, which goes inside the free pin plug and is held in place by the cable grip. We know the free core cable contains three wires. The live wire, which is the brown wire, the neutral wire, which is the blue wire, and the earth wire, which is the green and yellow wire. So this blue wire, which is the neutral wire, is connected to the neutral pin of the plug. This green and yellow wire, which we know is the earth wire, is connected to the earth pin. And this brown wire, which is the live wire, is connected to the live pin. And this is the fuse. It melts and stops the electric current from flowing if it becomes too high. So this is the free core cable, which we know contains the neutral wire, the earth wire and the live wire. And this is the cable grip, which holds the cable in place. If we zoom in on this diagram, we can see how the cable grip has come loose. This is not good for the safety of this free pin plug, as the free core cable can then potentially slip out of place. The outer casing is a stiff plastic, which is a good electrical insulator and stops people from getting an electric shock, making the free pin plug safe to handle. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is what the free pin plug looks like on the outside. There are three pins where there's one long pin and two shorter pins. The free core cable contains three wires, which contains a copper core, whereas the pins on the plug, they're made of brass. So we've already established this free pin plug contains three pins, two shorter ones and one long one. This brass pin is a good conductor of electricity and doesn't rust or oxidize. Because the brass can withstand the water vapor and oxygen in the air, the brass lasts a long time, which makes it perfect to be used on free pin plugs. You would think copper would be used, but not copper as it is too soft. Brass is a harder metal, so it does not get damaged compared to copper. We already know this is the copper core. Copper is used because it is ductile and a very good electrical conductor. And remember, this outer plastic covering has another name. It is also known as the insulating sheath. So we already know the brown wire is the live wire and is connected to the live pin. Well, this is the live pin that the brown wire, also known as the live wire, is connected to. So this blue wire, which we know is the neutral wire, is connected to the neutral pin. So I'm writing a capital N in blue to represent this is the neutral pin. So the neutral wire is connected to the neutral pin. And the green and yellow wire, which is the earth wire, is connected to the earth pin. This is the earth pin. So I'm writing a capital E in green and yellow to represent the earth pin. The earth pin is the longest pin. So when the free pin plug is placed into the wall socket, the longest pin is the first to make contact with the earth wire inside the wall socket. Therefore, if there is an electrical fault, the electric current will flow through the earth pin and into the earth wire of the wall socket. This automatically earths the case. Last but not least, this is the fuse and is connected between the live wire and the live pin. The fuse is there to protect the plug. If too much current flows through the plug, this could potentially cause an electrical fire. So when the electric current is too high, the fuse melts, cuts off the electrical circuit and switches off the appliance. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to learn in more detail what happens to the fuse when the electric current is too high. 
In the series circuit, we have a cell, a fuse, and a filament lamp. The way the fuse protects the circuit is, if too much current flows through the circuit, then the fuse gets very hot. In the circuit symbol of the fuse, there's a straight line. This straight line represents a very thin piece of metal which is inside the fuse. And when the current is too high and the fuse gets very hot, what we're actually saying is the thin piece of metal inside the fuse glows orange as the electric current is too high due to the high resistance in the fuse. Now, if we take a look at what's happened to the fuse, we can see there is no longer a complete circuit as when the current is too high, the fuse melts. And this is really important to protect the circuit as the electric current cannot flow, so the circuit breaks and switches off. So if we had to summarize the job of a fuse in one small sentence, fuses protect plugs and offer safety. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.